Alright, so let's continue. I don't think this will take too long today. It should be just one on one fights. Well, I don't know how much story we're gonna have afterwards or in between. Yeah, but I think it'll be faster than yesterday. Mm. There. Are they looking for something? I heard that the organizer set up loads of message boards for the audience to leave comments and interact with each other. It sounds like a good way to encourage discussion about the tournament. I wonder if people will talk about me and Trilly Whirly. Oh, if only I could use this experience in one of my papers somehow. Hyman thinks that's a great idea! You always need a ton of information to write a paper, and you can't always get the info you need. But this time, you're the one providing yourself with the information. You can write whatever you want. That's a nice idea, Paimon. But I'm from the Ritawa Darshan. The kind of information I'm gathering now would only be of any use to someone in the Amorta Darshan. You heard this one's words of fire. The main one world's trash is another world's treasure. Yeah! You can provide the information to a mark to students! Maybe sell it to the highest bidder! Wait, no! Royalties! Charge royalties! Mora is a secondary consideration, but I could make it a fair trade by getting the Amorta students to read through some advanced papers for me and figure out what Trolley Whirly's kind likes. If I can narrow the search, it'll make my life a whole lot easier. I won't have to buy hundreds of different things and get twirly whirly to try them all. Just thinking about it makes me want to pass out. Layla, that's an amazing idea! Please get them to look into what Bongo Head likes, too! Uh, I'll do my best. When I get back, I'll write a letter and send it to the Immorta. Mm, sign of subordinates. Doesn't mean he's observing the arena. This one, I even forgot about the him. pairings for the remaining 32 are out. I've been looking forward to this a lot. What are you so excited about? Aren't you worried that we'll knock your budding author out of the competition? If that happens, Yai Publishy House's nice little journey in Sumeru will come to a very abrupt end. Oh, please. Do your worst. I never asked Soka to win in the first place. Besides, maybe suffering a humiliating <laughs> defeat will give her the epiphany she so desperately needs. After all, a life with no obstacles tends to narrow the mind. People end up believing that only they are on the right path. Sometimes, obstacles are more valuable than smooth sailing. As you wish, Chief Editor. Excellent. Ah, I'm looking forward to the next round. I'll await your good news. <laughs> Choose them. I have to use him all the time here. Hmm. Okay, makes sense. He's supposed to be the first one. 
Uh, okay, so water. Uh, cardio against that one. Uh, pyro against that one. I really, uh, whatever. Traveler, Paimon, this day has come earlier than I had expected. Me too. My apologies, but my writing career is at stake here, and my reputation in Lady Yai's eyes? I can't allow you to beat me. Poor girl. Don't get too cocky, Soka. We won't go easy on you. Shukaku have powers beyond the reach of mere mortals like me. Y yeah, we you kind of literally have. Oh no! Did we go too far? Soka's taking this pretty hard. Miko said it was fine not to hold back, but she'll definitely be mad at us when she sees her in this state. Oh, Paimon's freaking out! Okay, we should just go apologize to Miko. Come on, Bongo Head, put on your best guilty face! Try to calm down, Soka. Not Miko. <coughs> Miko, we're sorry. It was all Bongo Head. We didn't know it would take Soka out so quickly. I'm going to be sitting right here. I should be the one who's responsible. Oh, did she look crestfallen? And say something melodramatic like, Beyond the reach of mere mortals, then curl up on the ground and start wailing. Yes! To all of those, actually. Oh, you know it really well, huh? It's better this way. Soka will turn this experience into valuable writing material. She'll be able to portray the protagonist's journey with all the setbacks they face along the way much more compellingly. It will resonate all the more with readers. As for how to flesh out the villain, dominating, ruthless but brilliant, and ultimately victorious, the inspiration will have to come from you. So don't go getting yourselves knocked out of the competition by some second-rate wannabe, hmm? Um, I'm the villain. The time overloads of the villain, so she's the bigger villain. That's a conversation for another time! Oh, Miku, please ask Soka to go easy on us when she writes us into the novel! Traveler, Paimon and Miss Yai. <laughs> Layla, take it easy. Don't go fainting on us. I'm all right. So I wrote to the Immortus students, and they were really keen. I got a reply with the information I needed within just a few hours. I've tried making a few different snacks for Twirly Whirly based on the information they gave me. But it didn't seem to like any of them. Hmm. Maybe I used some of the wrong ingredients or something. So then I made a new, improved list, and also included ingredients that might suit Bongo Head's taste. Ah, I didn't go to bed until way past midnight. So I'm a little out of breath today. How'd you get the results so soon? That was super quick! I hope sleep explains the tiredness, but not the breathlessness. 
she just came running. How's it going, my little Layla? Have you been teaching your opponents a lesson? Yep. Thanks for taking us training, Miss Yai. Trelly Whirly is way more obedient now, and it reacts so quickly. I'm actually kind of envious. But the opponents have gotten stronger, too. So, the pressure is on. I gotta train with Trolly Whirly some more if I wanna have a shot at getting into the quarterfinals. The problem is, I'm also planning to visit the Almighty Merchant at 7 in the morning tomorrow to buy all the ingredients I need. She doesn't have to. Oh, that that's time. no problem. I'll join you with your training session, and we can leave the little ones to buy the ingredients. They're quite the experts in running errands. Oh, sounds like you two help out Miss Yai quite often, huh? We sure do. We'd love helping Miss Yai. Because if didn't... Ah, uh, right! Yeah! Please don't turn us into scary evil bad guys! Don't worry, little Layla. They're just apologizing to me for defeating Soka. Go buy yourself a nice drink, take a break, and catch your breath. Thanks so much. Oh, you guys are the best. This is the address where I arranged to meet up with the Almighty Merchant. And here's the list of ingredients. Oh, thanks again. Hey, it's our pleasure. You helped us look into Bongo Head's preferences, remember? Glad we can return the favor. As for the potential liabilities we didn't have time to discuss earlier, one good place to start might be the fungi power-up materials. Jelly. Why, this is the most exciting subplot of the novel. A secret investigation. I'm sure you must be curious about where the magical powers of the Wisdom Orb and Floral Jelly really come from. Besides, if we fail to uncover what's really going on in this tournament, we simply leave Hania to her own devices. Who knows what chaos might ensue? Uh, this is suddenly sounding super complicated. Paimon isn't really following. I suggest that you act just before sunrise, while most people are tired and resting. You may find some important leads. Should we really take Miko's suggestion? No, it's literally what I'm saying for. For the sake of harmonious coexistence for sure, buddies. tomorrow morning and go check out the fungi power-up place. Don't worry, Bongo Head. You're not under suspicion or anything. We just want to make sure everyone stays safe in this competition. Um, can I see this list of orders? No. Something on your. Oh, no. How am I supposed to do first? Some special ingredients, those contestants wouldn't suspect a thing. Hmm. Well, it's not like we can just take them away and go investigate them. That'd be stealing, right? 
We'd probably be disqualified and might even end up getting arrested by the Corps of Dirty. Oh, but we do have a camera. How about we take some pictures of the floral jelly and its recipe? At least then we'll have a record of all the important information. You look in the floor drain. The recipe can take photo ethics. Done! We should ask an expert to analyze these photos, but we're kind of running out of time. Uh, let's go buy Layla's stuff first. Uh, Hania? You hold yourselves to pretty high standards, coming here so early to power up your fungi. No wonder you've made it this far. Hania, we need to talk. Your plan you told us about last time, it's way too extreme. Save your breath. If you think I'm wrong, start by defeating me. Then you can show me why exactly you think your opinion is correct. <sighs> she won't listen to us at all. How did things end up like this? Paimon thought we were getting along pretty well at first. Let's go for a short time. The only way we can persuade her is to do it her way. Alright, fine. Come on, Bongo Head. There's no time to mope. But this is where we should be meeting the Almighty Merchant. Oh, the looks on your faces tell me you're searching for the Almighty Merchant, yes? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, how did you know? Wait, Dory? <sighs> so you're the Almighty Merchant Layla mentioned? Why so surprised? Every vendor and customer in the Grand Bazaar knows that Lord Sangama Bay possesses the widest and most magical range of goods. Mm -hmm. Almighty, supreme, omnipotent, these and many more are my exclusive epithets. Any other merchant thinking of using one can forget it. Unless they're prepared to pay millions of mora in licensing fees. Uh, guess Paimon should have known. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But back to business. I'm surprised that Layla sent you here on her behalf. I suppose she must be busy enjoying the Beast Tamer tournament, hmm? Sounds like you two get along pretty well. You know a lot about what's going on. <laughs> it has nothing to do with getting along. Layla previously bought a few things from me. They weren't the most valuable goods, but it was still a lot of mora for a student. So naturally, I now keep tabs on her activity, which is why I know that she's taking part in a very suspicious tournament. Is it supposed to be suspicious? Uh, so you know something about what's going on? You have an income. Mm-hmm. Something just didn't feel right. As it happens, I do have some goods I'm trying to get off my hands. They're a little hot for my liking, but so far no takers. They're also taking up space, so I think I'll just give them to you. Um, this is just a bunch of spare parts and random notes. I'm told this is a device and some documents that the organizer attempted to destroy. But they were careless. 
Some people will scavenge through anything hoping for a chance to get rich. Sure enough, someone fished these out of the water and sent them to me. Now that Paimon takes a closer look, this looks similar to the recipe for floral jelly. And these parts look like they came from a wisdom orb. Maybe they were used during the experiment phase. Let's hold on to them for now and have Miku take a look later. Maybe she'll notice if there's anything fishy about them. I think I said this and that. There's something suspicious about Kalchi. Yeah, seems like our worries were well placed after all. But Paimon still wants to hang out with Bongo Head. I don't know what you two are talking about, but it sounds like these items might prove useful to you. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount. 60 million mora. Thank you for your business. You're giving it to me. <gasps> Why, cute, sneaky little... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no one gives a hoot about these items except for you and the Matra. We have other business to do today. Uh, consider this a little extra I'm throwing in to sweeten the deal. Show me Layla's list. I just need to know what she wants. Once I finish stocking up the goods, I'll send someone to deliver them to her so that you don't have to. That's a relief. Paimon thought all our efforts were gonna go down the drain. We couldn't afford that price even if we won the top prize. Here's Layla's order hmm. list. Flour mixed with Matsutake powder, a vintage jam, Zaytun peach juice? Is this really the fungi diet? How did Layla even find that out? Simon still feels kinda uneasy about all this, but we don't have much time. Let's continue with the competition. If Cotillion... What? Show starts talking. Halfway through. Let's see who's training here. Hmm, nobody, no? Uh, you. I bet it's a good place to turn up. Turn up. Experiencing hardships together is the way to become stronger with the, your formula. I joined the parties of many adventurers when I was young. We traveled to the, the world and completed a good number of commissions from the associ association. Having experienced countless dangers and challenges, we become, became stronger at an, an unbelievable speed. The same philosophy applies to fungi as well. The organizers picked a perfect place to train and toughen up the fungi. We don't know where the enemies here are from, but that's not something we competitors should know. Oh, this guy really has it all figured out. Not only is he through, he's really passionate as well. Okay. I guess he's the next one. Oh. I can see you're serious about this. Good. Time to put my years of rigorous training to full use. Now, prepare to witness the power of my all cryo fungi team. That doesn't seem a good idea. All you got? Couldn't melt a snowflake with that. Freeze the gusto, Frosto. Oh, 
impossible. My team has been defeated. Whew. That was a hard one battle. You and your buddies put up a good fight, Bungohead. Traveler Paimon, I saw you guys made it to the next round. Congrats! Hey, Layla! You're looking well today! And Twirly Whirly looks really happy! Guess you won your last round, too! It was a close call. I only won by a hair. Oh, I'm so glad I trained with Miss Yai beforehand. Also, the Almighty Merchant just sent someone to deliver the stuff I ordered. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go catch up on some rest with Twirly Whirly now. Hmm... My stamina's running low. Let's keep the volume down. Speaking of Miss Yai, where did Miku go? Mm, she left in a hurry with Soka. I guess they must have had something urgent to do. Also, I think they were escorted by a mercenary from the Corps of Thirty. When I returned to the arena, they were already quite a distance away. It didn't feel right to run after them and ask what they were up to. Maybe she has work to do. I guess busy at yeah, pushing house after all. Could be. Miku has been putting a lot of time into the tournament lately, so Paimon wouldn't be surprised if she had a lot of chief editor work to catch up on. She also said that she wanted to look for inspiration while enjoying her vacation. The mercenary was probably just their tour guide. We shouldn't worry about it. The quarterfinals are coming up. To me, this is the most important round. Uh, I'm a little nervous, but let's all do our best. Yeah! Ah, we've all done really well to come this far in the tournament. Keep it up, Layla! We mustn't let our guards down either. We need to strike the balance between campaign and investigating. Yeah. Right! We have to stay vigilant. Okay, let's take some photos of the items we got from Dory to add to the ones we took this morning. We'll show them all to Miko when we see her next. Mm. Okay, two, eight. Okay, so maybe Miko or Lilo will lose because I probably have to fight Anya. Was that her name? Oh dang it! Why is the two of you? What do you mean? It's nothing. You understand eventually. Uh, why is this person doing at the training ground? Judging by his tone, could he be one of the competitors? There's no need to be afraid, Fama. You're right, we've defeated countless less people. This one's no different. Damn. It's laggy. 
Oh, my internet is not too good today. Besides, Pavel has faith in Bongohead and the other fungi. Someone with such a bad temper can be good with fungi, anyway. Who doesn't have a bad temper? I heard everything, you guys were pretty loud. Yeah. I'm not inter interested in bickering. We'll settle this in the arena. It doesn't have any difference. My guy, he's a fake. Why did he feel most people yet? Hmm. Uh, you're still feeling cocky. Oh, let's not make this a conversation. I can be mean too. But I wasn't mean. Uh, what if the two of you get in a fight because you upset him? Wait, he's the one I should be worried about if the two of you start fighting. Just make sure don't hit him too hard. Anyway, for your safety, Mr. Mercenary, you probably shouldn't agitate Ignis any further. I'm going to become a renowned beast tamer. Uh, it doesn't serve me any purpose to settle disputes through violence outside of the arena. Stop wasting time trying to argue with me and go do whatever it is you are supposed to be doing. Alright. What I was supposed to be doing is... Beating you up at the arena. Okay, so water... Cryo... Yeah. I don't know if it was a good setup, but whatever. Ugh! It's you! The uncultured swine of the Nilut Palaka! Okay, no, that was rude. Hey, you potty mouth! What's your problem? The way you dote on your fungi! It's pathetic! What a joke! You make a mockery of the philosophy of the greatest beast tamer of all, the mighty Hania. Greatest beast tamer of all? <laughs> That's debatable. Just have her philosophy straight. You keep telling yourself that. You were never gonna come close to facing Hania. Time for you to go home. Happening. I trained my fungi non stop. Maybe I should have been harder on them. Maybe they're tired. <sighs> well, we beat him, but somehow Paimon isn't really in the mood to celebrate. Traveler, Paimon, I made it through. Good, now you can lose the next one. That's amazing, Leila! You reached your goal! Congratulations. I heard you won against the unstoppable Hardy Two Blades, but you don't seem too happy about it. How come? It's just that... Oh, he was really mean. He said some weird things. Let's all learn the details of the match. I see what you mean. Yeah, somehow beast tamers like him make me feel a little uh, sad. Yeah, 
He clearly doesn't know anything about Hania. He's just making assumptions about what she's like based on a vague impression and even trying to copy her. I'm sure Hania would feel uneasy about it too if she knew. Also, he's so cruel to his shroom buddies when they could have been friends. Hmm. It's not just his loss either. It brings all the other contestants down. Right! You have the right mindset, Layla. If only everyone was like you, this whole tournament would feel a lot less gloomy. But it's only because I'm not aiming as high. I just want to be able to take Twirly Whirly back to live with me. That's all. Oh, looks like the next fight is you against me. Oh. Let's just try to enjoy ourselves. It doesn't matter who wins. This is just a little contest between friends. <laughs> Trash lose. All yeah. right, time to see who's the strongest fungi. Twirly Whirly or Bongo Head. Loser buys dinner for the winner. Whatever deal this is, you seem very happy about it. Did I miss anything big while I was gone? Miko, you're back! Finally! You stuck off without saying anything last time, so we didn't get to tell you about the evidence we... Um... Um... <laughs> Evidently, we have some things to discuss with you. Yes, well, it's been quite the ordeal for me, too. I only entered this tournament for a bit of fun, but now I've ended up in the semi-finals. I've barely had any time at all to spend with Soka and the others gathering source material for the novel. I'm sure you two will have a wonderful time in your fun and friendly match. I, on the other hand, have to take mine a little more seriously. I'm up against that stubborn young lady, after all. Oh. Yeah, who knew it'd get to this point? Miss Yai has to face off against Hania. Look on the bright side. Maybe Miko will help us defeat Hania. But that means we won't get to show Hania the error of her ways ourselves. Eh, whatever. Paimon just doesn't want to see Miko lose. I kind of do. Oh, is she training there now? Oh, huh. you again? But didn't you... Uh, how come we only get one shot? This is what we're talking about. I'm talking about the competition. Why is it that I'm not allowed to continue after losing just one match? I can still fight. Everyone's waiting to play with the fungi that I should bring, be bringing home. You had to make it through the preliminary round to be able to continue. Didn't you know that? Feels like you signed up out of passion. Didn't read the rules at all. We didn't read the rules. That's very unfortunate. Whatever the case, you already did your best, and there's no point in looking back. It'd be better if you just relax with your phone line. She doesn't have phone line anymore, does she? But didn't she have to return that? Don't you have a bunch of underlings? Why don't you have them make friends with your fungi and go on a picnic or an adventure? Uh, never mind about the adventure part, it's too dangerous, dangerous for them. Hey, you're right, I never got a chance to introduce the members to my fungi. Two of them even had the nerve to disguise themselves as competitors and try to steal the most obedient fungi foretold in the legends or something. Good thing they didn't get in trouble for that. They could have just played with my fungi. What does that sound familiar? Uh, isn't this better? There's no need to feel bad about it. Okay, that was done. Well, this won't blame you. But I'm their boss. I'm the one that qualified for the competition. I'm their only hope. In the past, I've al we've always had to avoid the fungi. We didn't dare get too close to them, even though some of them were really cute. Everyone was hoping that I would be able to tame a few as our game mascots. But I failed. It's all over now. Then you should really hurry up, shouldn't you? You should let your members spend as much time as they can with your fungi, right? Even though only the quarterfinals are allowed to keep your fungi after the competition, the competition isn't over yet. You still get to keep your orb and companions for a little longer. Ah, I didn't knew, but you had to return already. Learn what you came from your loss and fulfill your promise in the next season.
Oh, you're right. I never expected that this Y flying mushroom could be so smart. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Yes, it was a few right to say it. You too. I'll let you off the hook this time. You just make sure you win the whole competition. That way, when I defeat you guys next time, I'll become the most popular competitor. I'm going to she's trying to be funny or irritating. Alright, you have a deal. Make sure you get stronger before we meet again in the arena. Uh, participate. I, I don't have to wait now. Okay, let's stretch loose. Uh, they got power will be good against that, so okay. I suppose those won't be too good, especially because I'm not gonna use anything. And then, yeah, you yeah. because they got one already, so yeah, maybe this won't be too good. And I'll do nothing, I'll see if I can lose. Oh yeah, I have to walk there. I'm feeling nervous, but excited at the same time. You don't have to go easy on me. Twirly Whirly and team have weathered plenty of tough challenges already, and they know how to put up a good fight. So you and your shroom buddies can give it your all. Well then, prepare for battle, Layla and Twirly! Alright, let's just see if they lose. Twirly, quick! Do the thing! Uh, the wind vortex! Okay, so it's like we're losing. Maybe just the red screen with a uh, challenge or mission mm. or vice screen or something like that. Wow, there's so much cool help. Just one guy here, but a bit bit. Okay, vice player, please try again. Just that. Uh, actually, I would prefer to change my tune now. Okay, let's let's try. I'm feeling you don't have well then. No, well, I can heal them, so that helps. I uh, actually have two beams. Okay, but they took a lot of damage. Really okay. quick. Do the thing! Uh, the wind vortex! Twirly Whirly. <laughs> that was a real blast. I loved it. Thank you all. Twirly Whirly and I went out with a bang. 
any other opponent and we might be feeling a little disappointed right now. But we were definitely beaten by the best. You did really well too, you know. Felt like we were one wrong move away from a very mushy bongo. Just letting the fungi do their thing and enjoying the match with no pressure to win? It was a good feeling. If only every match could be as carefree as that. Uh, meanwhile, Miko's busy duking it out with Hania. Oh, Paimon's so nervous for her. Let's go see how she's doing. Yeah, but this way of battle isn't very fair. Because if you're the second best, and the first battle you go against the best, you lose already in your first battle. There should be a few battles and based on your score you go to the next. But okay, yeah, that, that's it has to be simpler here. Okay. Huh? It's over already? And why is the atmosphere so heavy? Uh does this mean Mika won? No, she lost. Your match is over too? You took your time. I'm assuming it was a close call. You sound way too relaxed for someone who just fought in the semifinals. Bet it was a walk in the park, huh? <laughs> yes. Ours was as far from a close call as you could get. All it took was a few short, sharp strikes for Blitzara and I... ...to be beaten by Hania. Huh? What? You think this is funny? Am I a joke to you? <laughs> Far from it, Hania. I know full well how serious you are about all this from your ironclad determination to annihilate an entire species. How would I ever dare mock you? That said, if you continue down this path and find that it leads somewhere quite different from what you had hoped, what will become of that ironclad determination then? I look forward to finding out. That's not your concern. Running away so soon? Miss Yai lost the match, but why is Hania the one who seemed upset? The situation gets more interesting with each development. Blitzara injured Pyro 1 soon after the match started, and Hania was clearly quite distressed. I simply pointed out that she's still deceiving herself, and her defenses began breaking down. She's more fragile than I'd imagined. This is seeing herself? You mean, Hania isn't as heartless as she tries to make herself out to be? So she does care about Pyro 1, but she didn't mean to show it in front of you. Right answer. Now's our chance to get through to her. You, my little friends, are the only ones who can get her back onto the right path. We can just beat her up at the Well, fight. right now, I'm sure she must be wondering what it is that has made her suddenly start doubting herself after all this time. The answer lies with the three of you. I'm sure you all know where she's gone to. I'm Lady Amy. The place where I first met the Traveler in Paimon? Good point! It was when Layla mentioned her plan to bring her shroom buddies back home with her that Hania's mood suddenly changed. Layla, it seems like you're onto something. Let's catch up with Hania and set things straight. You should stay here, little Layla. I understand that you want to help Hania, but she's not the kind of person you're good at dealing with. Leave it to them this time. That's true. And if I said something that struck a nerve again, I'd only make things worse. Plus, you guys move pretty fast. Uh, if I tag along, I'd probably need to stop and gather my strength every ten minutes. Well, what are you waiting for, little one? Is there anything we've dug up so far? Please take a look and see what you think. Oh! My, you've been busier than I thought. In return, I give you a blessing from me. 
Good luck. I'll share my thoughts the next time we meet. Is that useful? Did you find me here? We followed Pyro One's tracks. We're a little worried about you. Wait a second. Are you comforting Pyro One? The irony, I know. And I'd probably be enjoying it if Pyro One were any other animal than a fungi. The next time we meet, we'll be in the finals. Whatever you have to say, save it for if you beat me. We want to understand where you're coming from. Want you help see the the fox lady said you might say that. You're pure of heart, kind, and believe the best in things. You wouldn't understand if I tried to explain. So, here, read this. Oh, come on. Uh, what is it? Version of Log Expedition number 29, 10 days of the fungi invasion. Thankfully, you came across a group of farmers in the nearby area. They seem to have been trapped here by the aggressive fungi too, and have set up a temporary camp. The kind of farmers, the kind of farmers brought sufficient provisions and medicinal herbs, and almost saved us all. But there were still several people who did not make it. The fungi surrounding this area are increasing in number, and they are still in that berserk state. We can't leave just yet, at least not before the fungi are gone. If they ever leave, uh, it looks like we'll be staying here for a good while. Uh, number day 32. I never thought that I'd become trapped by a bunch of fungi for so long. I still can't see any hope of getting away from this place. Rabib took his axe and made an attempt to go find the fungi, but he was stopped by the other farmers. Everyone knows that none of us are going to last long without. The leader of the farmers around. Uh, but if the circumstances are enough to make the calmest and most composed farmer lose his cool, I can only imagine what the others feel. Everyone must be feeling pretty frustrated right by now. The Zyphon peaches we pick from nearby areas and the remaining provisions are going to last a few more weeks. Following the farmer's suggestions, we have started looking for suitable seeds to grow our own food. Where are they? That they don't have enough time to grow their food. And the camp needs an expansion. We have to make plans for the long term. We might eventually have to turn this place into a small village. A village full of fungi victims. How absurd. Hopefully we we'll manage to keep ourselves from starving to death before the crops mature. Okay, how big is this area? Because I thought they were in a house and couldn't ex exit. These are my ancestors' records. They were attacked by a horde of fungi in the rainforest. Many people were seriously injured. There was nothing exceptional about this incident at the time, and it certainly never made it into any official records. But my family have been reading it to me since I was a child, constantly warning me of the grave threat that fungi pose to us. So... That's what happened. Oh, no wonder you're so hostile towards fungi. A ceremony of this. But things are different. Yeah. Though. And anyway, doesn't your family's experience make this tournament all the more meaningful? The wisdom orb finally means that humans and fungi can live in peace together. 
It's not as simple as turning bad fungi into nice fungi with the wisdom orb. Plenty of scholars have experimented with similar things in my village in the past. Where's your village? But every one of them failed, gave up, and moved on. Even this new wisdom orb can only suppress the fungi's aggressive nature temporarily. Without this device, they're still extremely dangerous creatures. It's just kind of silly because they're some of the most easy things to kill with fighting around. On top of that, the orb's intellectual boost makes the fungi unnaturally strong. Too much elemental energy in one place is not a good idea, especially for people in poor shape already. If you've got a sensitive constitution and you start using a wisdom orb, mm -hmm. You're gonna start experiencing symptoms pretty quickly. And this very strong. Wait, Layla's been coughing a lot lately. Could that be because of the wisdom orb? As you'll be well aware by now, all Caltilia cares about is his precious research. He just wants to expand his influence and increase the profile of the Beast Tamer event. Meanwhile, Al Hingen's taking advantage of the situation. Impressed by Cautilia's research, he invested a huge sum into promoting the tournament, consequently lowering everyone's guard against the fungi. I don't trust either of them, period. I don't believe highly aggressive creatures like the fungi can coexist with humans. But I'm just another retired mercenary, so who's gonna listen to me? All I can do is play by their rules until victory is mine. Then I'll fight for the outcome I'm hoping for, and keep them from getting their way. I initially had a sliver of hope that you might help me in my endeavors. Guess that was pretty naive of me. But it doesn't matter what you think about all this, or what you think of me. I'm going to beat you, and then there will be nothing you can do to stop me. This notebook is just a relic from my past now. Do whatever you want with it. Because come the day of the final, I'm going to declare the execution of all fungi. Including Pyro One. This seems it's time to say goodbye to the past. That didn't go as planned. Well, there's only one option left. We gotta defeat Hania in the final match. I just want to know how she feels. Didn't Hania mention something about other researchers in the past trying to stop the damage caused by fungi too? There should be more information in this notebook. Let's take a look. Oh, they said the researchers seem to be planning to use some kind of capturing device to control the aggressive fungi. The content of the device is a string of complicated terminology. They've also included a license of approval from the academia. In addition, they are preparing something called the withering potion to suppress the fungi's activity, making them easier to control. But... Okay, the nomenclature makes sense, but didn't the withering make enemies stronger? The withering potion also came with complex notes and official approval from the academia. Anyway, I'll record the information down for now. The bottom half of this page is filled with complex terms and comments. It's not hard to infer that whoever wrote them down did so by copying the researchers' notes word by word under a dim light. How do you know it was by a dim light? Uh, page 13. We failed again. When we returned to the village, two serious seriously wounded mercenaries insisted on quitting. Uh, before going to bed, I heard the little researcher arguing with a few subordinates. Uh, one of them tried to convince the lead researcher to give up on the withering potion, saying that they have gotten its function wrong from the very beginning. The outcome contradicted their expectations, and it could very well lead to their deaths. Another subordinate was yelling curses at an unfamiliar person. Judging from the details of their argument, it seems like someone has made a great mistake. They are here to settle this mess, but upon witnessing the state of the things, they start planning to drop everything and run. Something doesn't feel right. But I still need more evidence to make sure. These okay. look like research notes. Guess Hania's ancestors kept them after the scholars left. Whew. This section looks super complicated. The handwriting is really bad, and there are too many technical terms! Paimon can't make heads or tails of this! Wait, some of these look familiar, though. Oh, that's right! We saw them on the documents Dory gave us! So the notes and documents are connected. Let's start putting everything together. Alright, let's put them side by side. 
inside. Go through carefully and try to figure out what's written in these notes. Well, contents compiled from my clues. The device remnants and the remains of the files that Dory gave you contains the same list of approval as the device recorded in the notes I guess. Uh, evidently, these devices were considered technologically identical by the academia. Similarly, the formula for the floral jelly shares many basic ingredients and medicinal principles with the withering potion from the notes. The only difference is that the amount of certain active ingredients applied in the floral jelly is much lower than that of the withering potion. Also, protective ingredients and so-called stabilizers were added to the floral jelly. At this point, it can be really thus deduced that the remnants of the instrument that the organizer of the Nilupala Cup Beast Tamers tournament attempted to destroy and utilize the technological outcomes of the capturing device. And the floral jelly can be named as an upgrade of the withering potion, with enhanced safety that can trigger a temporary boost to the activity of the fungi and let them gain some special powers while being activated. A capturing device and a withering potion? The device used to capture the fungi made them calm and approachable, but the withering potion made them come berserk. So that's how it went down. The fungi only attacked Hania's ancestors because of what that potion did to them. And then the researchers built that device to try and capture the angry fungi. Also, if floral jelly is just an improved version of the withering potion, and the wisdom orb isn't Cautilia's invention either, he's basically giving someone else's invention a new name and passing them off as his own! He's a big fat liar! Big fat liar indeed. Although, I can't say that I'm surprised. Why is Cautilia so eager to get people to use the wisdom orb anyway? Uh, maybe he wants to finish the work started by scholars that went before him. But more likely, he just wants to take credit for other people's work. We gotta warn El Hingen. He needs to stop bankrolling Cautilia right away! As for Hania, she has no idea that the fungi only attacked her ancestors because they were under the potion's influence. No wonder she holds it against them. What was that? Oh, don't worry, Bongo Head. Paimon knows you're not gonna turn evil because of some floral jelly. You stayed a very good fungus even after we turned off the wisdom orb. Whoa! You can understand what Paimon's saying? Oh, wow, you're getting smarter! Oh, wait, the wisdom orb isn't active. Paimon didn't even notice. <gasps> Does that mean Bongo Head is hanging out with us by choice right now? I never seen me turn back on. I was assuming it was off most of the time. It has, it's had a good experience with us so far. It's gained a mutual, mutual understanding. See, see, Hania was wrong after all. The fungi aren't gonna lose control this time. Some fungi understand people and just want to get along, like Bongo Head here. Oh, Hania did make one good point, though. The wisdom orb has its limits. As long as that's the case, fungi won't be able to live with humans forever. Oh, Paima was really hoping Bongo Head could join us for the rest of our journey. Isn't there a way? There's nothing off. Let's keep safe distance from them now. Let's look for ways to improve the result part. Yeah. yeah, it's a shame, but it seems like there's no other choice. Hmm. We still have some time before the final. Should we report Cautilia to the Academia? We don't know what he's capable of. We also don't want to let him know we're out of him. True. For him to have made it this far, he must have been planning for a long time. If he caught wind of our plans to expose him, he'd definitely be wary of us. 
Whatever else happens, we have to give it our all on the day of the final. Let's beat Hania and knock some sense into her. Then we should get Elhinga to help us expose Kautilia for the fraud he is. Okay, somebody here now. Hmm, you're back here. Golden Comments, Silver Companion, congratulations on making it to the finals. Thanks. After watching your match against Layla, I feel that the two of you have a special bond with the fungi. You seem to view the fungi under the control of the arm as friends. That's why you are able to understand them better and bring out their full potential. In comparison, I still have the idea that I'm their master. All I could think of was to train with them to better our techniques. I feel like giving them the care that they needed. The gap between me and my fungi is probably the reason I lost to you. I lost in for a good reason. Please, bro, I mean, barrel Bigfoot. Uh, it's not that you were being too hard on your fungi. It's just that you were treating them in an ordinary way. Besides, we might actually pick up a thing or, or two from you. Like going over adventures with the fungi or putting yourselves in a dire situation to make our bond a little more resilient. That's very nice of you to say to your companion. There's no need to be... There's no aim to holding one's skill. I still have much to learn. Hopefully, after you've claimed the championship, I'll have the honor of going up against you again in the future. Wait for our good news. You'll be waiting on yours as well. Ladies and gentlemen, after some fierce competition in the round so far, we arrive at long last at the final of the Nilut Pala Cup. It's time to find out who is the very best beast tamer of all, Honia or the Traveler. If the winner of the final round makes it through the ultimate trial, they will acquire my entire fortune. It will then be their responsibility to continue hosting this tournament into the future and to promote the philosophy of peaceful coexistence throughout all of Tivat. Oh, it's very possible. We'll give the fortune to her and she will have a change of heart. After the final match and the ultimate trial, we'll go tip off Elhingen and confront Cantilia head on! Nico? Layla? You're here! We're making a little spirit conversation with Anya. Much as I expected, the insufferable research maniac has exposed his true colors to our two protagonists. You seem to be edging ever closer to the truth. Holding off on reporting Kautilia to the Academia seems like a sensibly cautious decision at this stage. Who's to say if Kautilia, or indeed anyone else for that matter, is really who they appear to be? Yeah, we can't afford to let our guards down now. We gotta fight Hania first, the strongest beast tamer out there. And we still have no idea what we're in for with El Hingen's ultimate trial. Oh, how are we gonna get through to Hania, though? The answer should be quite obvious by now, surely. Take all of our fungi and defeat her fair and square. Force her to let go of her stubborn attitude and listen to the truth. I believe in you guys. I know you'll be able to get her to come around. Thanks for your support. Ah, uh, yeah! Bongo Head, Twirly Whirly, and Pizarra! The tightest power trio in all of Shroomdom! We 
your powers combined, winning this final will be easier than taking a radish from a hilly churl! We're boring them? They didn't say that. Okay, Palparos, oh. You, why not? The day has finally arrived, Traveler and Paimon. I warned you not to get emotionally attached to the fungi. You have to treat them as your pawns. But it seems like you haven't changed one bit. In which case, this match will be a short one. You were the one that needs to change. Yeah! When we said Bongo Head and Bunnies into action, it's like clockwork! And we ain't about to stop ticking! <sighs> Time to show you how a real beast tamer fights. Your feeble strategy will be your undoing. Go, Pyro One! It's time! Torch them all! Pyro One, they're about to reach their limit. Helen, Pyro One, why did you hold back? You're the one giving the orders. Has become more than just a pawn to you. Don't blame Pyro One, Hania, and don't force yourself to do something you don't want to. You started having second thoughts when Pyro One got injured during the semifinals, didn't you? You never met a well matched opponent until you fought Miko, and now us had you. So you never had to put Pyro One or any of your other fungi in danger before. When you saw one of your fungi get injured for the first time, you realized you felt compassion for it. Compassion? You really think I feel anything for these fungi? Yes, painfully obvious. Hania, you grew up listening to terrible tales about the horrors of fungi. Paimon completely understands how they made you feel. But that doesn't mean that you should just treat a buddy who stands by you here as your arch enemy. You won't be able to lie to yourself forever. We fight off fierce fungi all the time, and we always used to think of them as monsters, too. The whole reason we entered this tournament is because we didn't want fungi causing any trouble. But after meeting Bongo Head, we realized that if you just give them some time and treat them well, the gentler fungi will get to know you and treat you like their friends. At the very least, treat fungi like they're on your side, not as your pawns and certainly not as your enemies. Please, learn to trust Pyro One and your other fungi friends. Say not treasures. We shall fungi right. Enough! Don't patronize me. In case you've forgotten, this match isn't over yet. No. Okay. I think I see what you want. Pyro 
what you're truly made of. I failed. Just before the most important step of all, I failed. You two, you were the only ones who could stop me. But how when your mindset is so childish? Show you how. As we agreed, you have to hear us out now that we've won. But let's put that aside for now. Can we bring Pyro One along for the ultimate trial? Oh. Pyro One? You want to take it with you? Yep. We want to pass the ultimate trial with everyone's fungi side by side. Bongo Head, Twirly Whirly, Blitzara, and Pyro One. Earn the rights to all this phone guy. We'll make sure they're all properly looked after. We looked through your notebook that day after we spoke to you and it cleared up a lot of things. You're right to be concerned about the dangers of fungi, up to a point. Wisdom orbs come with health risks to some people. This tournament shouldn't have been promoted so widely, and there are limits to how closely fungi and humans can coexist in general. However, by making constant improvements to the Wisdom Orb and using it for friendly communication with the fungi, we can figure out which are the nice ones and gradually learn more about them. Fine, if that's what you want. I lost, so I don't get to call the shots. And I guess Pyro One would rather be with someone who actually cares about it. Cheer up, Hania. I'm sure you mean a lot to Pyro One. Uh... We have more important stuff we gotta tell you after the ultimate trial. Regarding your sister's signature behind the combat attack. That's right! You'll see things differently after you know the story. Paimon just knows it. I just had to say, what a magnificent duel. A battle between competing philosophies as well as a showdown between two top beast tamers. Alhingen? What are you doing in the arena? Why, I'm here to witness the final duel, and the winner's spectacular performance in the ultimate trial. How could I possibly miss such a milestone moment in this tournament's history? So nobody's watching the battles, we just live here, and everybody turns, okay, I lose, and the other person won't. Come now. Like that. Traveler, Paimon, it's time to prove yourselves. I have no doubt that you'll play a significant role in bringing this tournament to a whole new level. Following here to a location of the Osmic Tribe. Hmm? What's going on here? Why are the Fatui everywhere? Oh, Hingen, the arena's been taken over by bad guys. We'll deal with them. Get yourself to safety. Uh, wait a second. Where is the exit? The arena hasn't been taken over by bad guys. It was all part of Evergreen's plan. The Traveler is correct. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, does it? In which case, I presume you planned for this eventuality, no? Yeah, put your body. Wait, Always this works. is all wrong! Isn't this the ultimate trial? Kaltui is supposed to be the villain. He was just using this tournament for his own agenda and he tricked you into sponsoring him! Hmm, not far off. You're right about Cautilia's motivations. This started when he discovered a promising use for a forgotten technology. So I bought his loyalty and organized this tournament to expand the reach of his technology. Though I must say, 
I never expected a prize catch like yourself to take the bait so eagerly. That as eagerly as you're confessing to a prize? So, you weren't being fooled by Cautilia. It was you using him! This whole time you were just another lousy Fatui! Oh, now Paimon's mad! So much for warning you about Cautilia! Finally, get him! Oh, look at you! <laughs> I've got chills down my spine. But I'm afraid that's not happening. Twirly Whirly, Blitzara, Pyro Wine! What's going on? Hmm. Cautilia added a handy little back door in the wisdom orbs. As soon as I send the command, all fungi under their control report to me instead. Back door. So, this whole tournament, it was just an elaborate ploy to get other people to capture fungi for you. And now you're going to make them all into your evil minions. Very impressive. <laughs> you hit all the key notes there. I hold the tournament a few times, build up an army of fungi living amongst the people, and then I can create all kinds of damage. You have to understand, this is a huge opportunity for me. My accomplishments will eclipse those of my other comrades. And then, my dear Master Dottore, left because of you will finally realize that I can still be worth something to him. But now, I think I might go one step further. Getting rid of you would be doing a major service for all the Fatui, from the foot soldiers to the harbingers. <laughs> this could be a career-making moment for me. I'll finally earn Master Dottore's respect. I'll just say it was a, a tragic accident. You placed too much trust in the fungi, tried to push past the limits, and ended up causing the whole arena to collapse with you still inside. Once this domain sealed off, no one will ever find you. I'll have Cautilia assume all liability and criminal charges, then inform the Academia. After that, I'll invest even more into this tournament in the name of honoring your memory. I'll promote it harder. The competitions will be bigger and more frequent. You selfish double crashing monster! How could you? Bye, monster! Just about enough from you, mister! You'll never get away with this! But what are we gonna do? You don't have any weapons on you, and our shroom buddies won't respond to us anymore! Don't need weapons to use on the main Uh, is there a main or shroom for themselves? I have faith. Have faith in Mongo has. Take the your time! Friendship. Pit fungi against fungi, and warriors against warriors! I want the traveler to see his buddy being destroyed! Then. Once his faith is utterly shattered, put him out of his misery, quickly and painlessly. I accept that our actions thus far have not been uh, beyond reproach, but at least we can give the Traveler the ceremonious final farewell that they deserve. Oh. Okay. There's so many of them. This isn't right. I've activated the backdoor command three times now on the floating hydrofungus. Why is it still obeying the traveler? Is Cartilia's device malfunctioning? Oh dear, the poor thing still hasn't realized. 
The technology in the Wisdom Orb does make fungi more obedient to their beast tamers, but all it does to achieve this is suppress some of their basic instincts, allowing them to communicate with their owner as effectively as any other animal. The trust that these four fungi place in their beast tamers, and the bond they now share, have grown stronger than the Wisdom Orb. Guy Miko! Y you broke the domain ceiling spell? Please, you thought your crude replicas could keep me out? You appear to have woefully underestimated who you're dealing with. Not to mention that shoddily designed backdoor command. Did you honestly believe that no one would notice the litany of vulnerabilities in your grand plan? Curses! Miko, Layla, and Hania too! Oh, hang in. So this was all you're doing? Whatever threat the fungi might pose, your nefarious ambitions are the true menace here! Come on, Miss Yai. Uh, let's go help them! Easy now, Layla. All that's left for us to do now is to watch and wait. The bond of companionship is not something so easily severed by the designs or devices of humans. Blitzara, you haven't completed your mission yet. You're not thinking of giving up now, are you? Huh? Look! What's is back to normal! Is this the moment Miss Yai said we were waiting for? Twirly Whirly, I believe in you! Take this crook down. <laughs> The backdoor command is wearing off! They're all returning to normal! Still doubting what your heart tells you, Hania? You're afraid. Afraid to accept that the fungus you treated as a pawn now trusts you completely. Because then you'll be forced to face your true feelings, which you have been trying so desperately to escape from. But don't keep your fungus waiting much longer. Look, now that it's no longer under the Wisdom Orb's control, it's waiting for your orders. Pyro One, are you really waiting for me? I'm sorry. I've been so harsh on you, but you still trust me. Go. Do what you have to do. Well, one way or another, it looks like all the fungi have returned to their senses! Great! Shame on you, Elhingen! You're about to pay for what you've done! Hold the line! And keep your heads! They're just a handful of fungi! We still have the upper hand! You'll get frostbite! Rats have a little resistance! Flash for 
chill to the bone. by a few measly fungi? <laughs> this is absurd! Where do you think you're going? There are four of us and we didn't do anything. Hmm? Oh, I'm just a tourist. As far as I'm aware, I don't have the authority to detain anybody within Sumeru's borders. Is that not the case for you too? He's a factory. Still, you needn't worry. He won't Always. escape. You'll see once you get back to the tournament arena. Ah, cryptic. Well, no time to figure that one out. On with the chase! And that's why Sino was... ...sneaking around. But he should still be from required to pay us the 60 million. Finally made your move. By order of the General Mahamatra, we're here to arrest El Hingen for grave crimes and Kautilia for academic misconduct. The General Mahamatra has been watching Kautilia closely for some time. He's busy dealing with other affairs today, so he couldn't find the time to apprehend the offenders himself. Thankfully, with all the evidence you gathered, we were able to swiftly bring this case to a conclusion. <sighs> the General Mahamatra wrote a letter for the two of you. Please, take a look. Well, prior to the General Mahamatra's return to his post, the Matra were starting to suspect that Kautilia was up to something. Kautilia had Ohingan partner up with him, keeping the most important evidence hidden. If it weren't for the Traveler and Paimon's help in providing crucial evidence, the Matra might have spent a longer time investigating the Blue's actions. The uh, Wisdom Orb and Flower Jelly were indeed derived from the capturing device and the Withering Potion. The latter two share similarities with the Omni Ubiquity Net from Inazuma, uh, which originates from Lewis Adeptus Arts. I do remember that. Therefore, one could say the two technologies are based on solid references. However, the capturing device and withdrawing potion aren't fully validated due to insufficient development time. They are experimental items created by Amurta researchers for controlling dangerous creatures. These items once resulted in a horrific accident and therefore should no doubt be locked away forever. Cotilia made use of his status and the Higgins funds to bribe relevant personnel. He obtained samples and documentation, then hired a few talented students to work on enhancing the two products. By making them safer and more reliable, Cotilia would then use this tournament as a cover for his true intentions, causing damage in Sumeru. Cotilia wanted to cause damage, I thought he just wanted to, to be famous for developing that. Uh, the Master rounded up another group of Amurta scholars to develop a countermeasure that targeted Cotilia's backdoor command. They planned, planted it into specific wisdom arms and handed them out to the Matra on ship at the arena. If anything happens to the countermeasure would be put to use. Fortunately everything went smoothly with the tournament. No one was hurt and there were no property loss losses. The tournament even brought financial gain to Port Ormus. As of now, all involved personnel within the Academia have been detained. They shall face just judgment. Sino, a leader of this operation, has confirmed all locations of interest. Criminals at large are highly likely to show up around the parts. The corruptority are, can acquire them with no more than a limited number of people. As for Hingen, he the results of the initial investigation reveals that 6% of his sponsored funds came from illegal sources, and the rest were his business earnings in Sumeru. Because this, because to inform is quite a complicated case, the academia will arrange for 
specialized personnel to deal with this matter. Traveler Paimon. I have included Sidus report for the at the front of this letter. Take a look if you're interested. It may help you understand this situation better. The anticipated participants and audience do not deserve to be deceived like this. Uh, I will be using El Higgins business earnings as prize money for the participants and compensation for other relevant people. If the funds are not enough, the extra amount will be included in Cautilla's fine. Uh, the beast timer tournament has a positive influence and it might become as well known as Genius Invocation T6G. Can we play that sometime? Uh, so it doesn't need to discontinue just because of two schemers. In the eyes of the general public, you two have taken over as the hosts of this event. Please don't worry too much. I trust that you arrange for things are crumbling, so we have to prepare something. Lastly, please say hello to Gujiai on my behalf. If the chance arises, I would like to spar with her in a duo. I hope she'll not be very against some very against some purple decks with his certain styles. So Sino has been keeping an eye on this competition too! He plays cards. He and his people must have been secretly investigating at the same time we were! Lucky we had some backup! I will perfectly leave the rest to you. Alright, we'll take the suspects away now. The area will be unattended while we're gone, but with you here, I can put my mind at ease. You might think this is over, but mark my words! You haven't seen the last of me! Oh, Master Dottore! Yeah, you don't seem like a big deal. Oh, quit while you're behind, loser! Have fun in prison, you fatui lowlife! Wait, Sino mentioned that he used our evidence, so... Is that where Miko was going after the last 16? To hand it in and make a report? I didn't hand it over to her after, I thought. Hmm. Oh, please, spare me that look. I didn't sign up for any of this. I'm supposed to be having a nice vacation, but all sorts of vexing issues keep managing to find their way to me. After the round of 16, I simply took a walk around Sumeru City with my editors. I did have a very brief conversation with the General Mahamatra, but only because he happened to be passing by at the time. The evidence you gathered was the key to solving this case. Uh, the more you try playing it down, the more confusing it all sounds. Um, anyway, now that the organizer and the sponsor have both been arrested, what should we do about the fungi in this tournament? Fungi as far as by. The rules still stand. These little the ones won the now. tournament and passed the ultimate trial, which means they'll be taking Elhingen and Cautilia's place. From now on, everything about this tournament will be up to these two to decide. And after all the experience they've gained, I'm sure they are more than up to the task. First things first, we need to tell Elhingen the truth. We need to see things differently. Lady Kitsune told me everything. The fungi that attacked my ancestors were out of control because they'd gone berserk. Everything I thought I knew about the fungi was based on a misunderstanding. I took it all much too far. Huh? We didn't get to say anything! Miko, why did you have to steal our thunder? <laughs> if by that you mean, thank you, Miko, then you're welcome. Hania needed a little pep talk to perk her up so that she would join us in taking a stand against Elhingen. How else was I supposed to motivate her? You don't have to say anymore. I was too close-minded. I know that now. I kept telling myself the same things, lying to myself until I became numb. But now I've seen the truth with my own eyes. Even without the Wisdom Orb, Pyro One willingly followed my instruction. It trusted me all along. I hold my hands up. I was wrong. You're well within your rights to criticize me, and I accept whatever punishment you deem appropriate. You're gonna leave her in charge. Okay. Punishment? What do you take us for? Sure, you said some pretty scary things, and you were way too strict with Pyro One, but clearly you've already learned your lesson. Wait, actually, 
Having said that, Paimon has an idea! And we'll discuss the final decision together down to the precise wording. All right, Paimon's got it! Let's go tell everyone else what we came up with! The victory speech is your smake? Yeah, because we barely speak. Don't you put your gifts of gab to good use. Uh, the trouble has been talking more lately. He could have some lines here. Ahem! Oh, this is Paimon's first time speaking so many people from a stage like this. Oh, Paimon's getting butterflies. Paimon and the Traveler are super happy that we were lucky enough to win this tournament and even expose a criminal conspiracy while we were at it. The responsibility for continuing to hold this tournament in the future now lies in our hands. Now, they may have thrown the organizer and the sponsor in jail, but you can all breathe a huge sigh of relief because the prizes are still being issued as promised! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Woo-woo! That's a good call. However, unfortunately, the wisdom orbs currently have a harmful effect on their surrounding environment, so they pose a risk to people's health. This means that we won't be able to keep our fungi friends around for the long term. So, for the sake of everyone's well-being, over the coming days, we recommend that everyone entrust their fungi into the care of the best darn beast tamer in town, Hania! But you won't be away from them for too long. While Hania takes care of your fungi, we'll be talking to the Academia with the goal of trying to resolve the current issues with the Wisdom Orb as soon as possible. Well, we don't need that anymore. We can catch, capture new ones, but the ones we already have, they're good. And of course, this tournament was so much fun. It'd be a real shame if it was a one-off affair. I'm unsure you've got a big appetite for more fungi fun and games. So once the technical issues are all sorted out, and we're all reunited with our fungi friends, let's battle it out all over again! But they could expand that. They aren't necessarily only for fungi. We could capture any enemy in the future and place in our home. Oh. That would be nice. So that's my punishment. Think of it more as a reward for being the runner-up. Don't think of it that way, Miss Hania. Spending time with shroom buddies is actually really fun. Uh, right, Twirly Whirly? I'm gonna miss you, Twirly Whirly. Take good care of my best shroom buddy. Oh. Traveler. Paimon. <laughs> Layla. And Lady Kitsune. What can I say? You're a fascinating bunch. decision with everyone watching. You better look alive! <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I get it. As a beast tamer, I accept your proposal. I will do my utmost to care for these fungi and treat them like the treasured companions that they are to their masters. <laughs> now those sound like the words of an awesome person called Hania that Paima wants to be friends with. Just wish she'd shown us this Hania sooner. Anyway, let's spend some final quality time with our shroom buddies. Then we'll all meet up in Port Ormos. Oh, isn't that over already? Two days late. Okay. Is that search mode? Alright. Then Miko, 
And finally, go give our fungi over to Hania. What's she doing here? My prize money. Why did I get any prize money? I was so excited about it. I came here for nothing. Prize money? Yeah, I participated in the competition but didn't get a single moral. That doesn't make any sense. But I think the rules regarding the prize money are written on the billboard. Although the rules are a little complex and has to read through, Pamela had it doubts that one would be that there will be a prize money for competitors that didn't make it past the preliminaries. How about I share some of my prize money with you? Uh, are you serious about that? Didn't get too much ourselves either, right? Fine, Pamela guessed it's reasonable, seeing that we've knocked her out before she knew what was going on. Uh, no, that's okay. It wouldn't be right to accept prize money given to me out of pity. My other leaves would laugh at me if they found out. Mm, I'm running it on Mora because of her pride as her boss. That's very reputable, but I'm impressed. Right, let's check. Uh, you should pay more attention in the future and, uh, and at least read the rules before you do anything. Otherwise, you only get the short end of the stick. I've already accepted. I don't plan on making a scene. I just feel a little discouraged. Uh, don't mind me. Just leave me alone to suffer a little longer. I'll return to my normal self in no time. with my paper. I didn't know if she has a track horse here. Uh, although, I've tried making almost everything on my food list now. Every time I used to flower or something, it got in the air and gave me a coughing fit. <coughs> but after all that, I still haven't figured out what Twirly Whirly likes. It would be great if the improved wisdom warp allowed us to communicate directly with the fungi. Oh, 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 I should mention that in my letter and get someone to ask a senior Immortus scholar. Hyman's never seen you in such good spirits, Layla. You spoke a lot more than usual just now, and you're still full of life. You really go the extra mile for your shroom buddies. Uh, uh... I think I might have overexerted myself, though. I'm flagging hard. Uh, let's go see Miss Yai before I crash. Uh... Hmm, does he have something to say? Hmm, uh, we fungi, we sure I like that. Uh, we're heroes, we're going to so far. I'm used to this already, although we didn't worry about you us off guard. It's good that nothing serious happened. Now that Elhi has been arrested, what what are you and the other staff going to do? Uh, the organizing team has been expanded and everyone's being investigated. The good news is that most of us are just ordinary employees and didn't get involved with Elhi's crimes. I was questioned by the court of 30 just before you guys pull through. I still have uh, to head to the Citadel of Rexar to assist them in their investigation after I deal with the mess over here. How could I have been so blind in allowing him to play me like a fiddle? I honestly thought he was a good person. Dang it. He's in the hands of the law now. Don't be so hard on yourself. You know, even if the person behind it all had your intentions to begin with, the competition itself still holds an incredible purpose. Uh, don't let such a great opportunity be ruined because of a few bad apples. 
Let me know if you guys are ever in the mood to organize another Peace Tamers tournament. I'll be sure to give it all I've got to give it all I got to make it fun. But if you are too busy and don't mind letting me take care of it, I'll be more than happy to continue to organize the tournament. Oh good, so we passed the ball forward. Sounds great, Mr. Balfour, you truly are one of the most responsible people Pyro has ever met. Hopefully everything will go smoothly, and the wisdom or modifications will, will live up to everyone's expectations. So, uh, uh, no one could have expected such a great event to have such a jaw-dropping conspiracy behind it. Oh, everything's fine now. Yeah, the conspiracy has been dealt with. There is no need to be afraid. Wait, shouldn't so no can be shot or something like, oh, I know what to add to my novel now at a time like this. But I'm sure you found a ton of inspiration in such a tragic turn of events. To be honest, things kind of got out of hand and completely exceeded my expectations. More details and background must be added right from the beginning for a, a villain like Elvinia. It seems like you and Lee I noticed something was off a long time ago. Someone ordinary like me didn't have the slightest clue that about what was going on. If I'm going to add this to the novel, I'm gonna have to think real hard about how to build up the underlying mystery and slowly feed the reader different clues. It would be a little strange if the twist came too abruptly. abruptly. However, the arc where the villain is defeated by the protagonist has to be perfect. I'll try drinking two pots of wine when I get a writer's block. It's a method lady I recommended. I'm going to try it tonight. Well, just make sure you don't drink too much. You might scare yourself with the things we're not writing. Huh? All this? I didn't even notice. Her anymore before. A competi competitor that made it to the semifinals is in part of the Murta, but still had such a high compatibility with her fungi. I suppose logic doesn't apply to the legendary student. Legendary student? Uh, if it isn't the renowned God of Common Super Companion in the Flash. Didn't you guys just have a friendly match against her? You mean Layla? Uh, is that Layla's nickname? Can you call? Can you tell us more about it? So you guys don't know her very well, huh? All I know about her are the rumors that I've heard. Legend has it that she would appear in various places in the dead of night, carefully observing the constellations. She's capable of swiftly moving between the points of observation and able to travel long distance with ease. She's sounding more like Mona. That sounds weird. Something must have been wrong with her, their eyes. Hela doesn't exactly have the strongest, the greatest stamina. It's impossible for her to do something like that. I'm just sharing what I heard with you. As for whether the rumors are true, well, that's not all my business. If you know more about her, feel free to tell me. We're not telling. Get, get to know her yourself. Yeah, it's not appropriate to tell others about someone without their consent. Go and become Layla's friend if you want to get to know her better. It's true or really flies, set of people. Doesn't matter if it's true or not. Uh, it's merely a passing conversation. There's no need to invest time in previews. Sumer is a big place, we belong to different Darshans and most likely we won't cross paths again. We definitely won't meet again after this competition ends. Uh, be that as it may, it still sounds a little cold. Just came from there. Oh, she's leaving already. Oh, you're earlier than I expected. Miko, you're not leaving, are you? Feels like you never got to properly enjoy your vacation here. Oh, my needs for amusement have been more than met. 
Thanks to your help, our little inspiration hunt went perfectly. Not only did we gain invaluable experience in the tournament, we also had all the excitement of exposing a criminal conspiracy. Yes, I think I might ask Soka to ditch her original characters and just make you the protagonists in her next novel. You were talking behind the scenes. And you're just starting up with opening it. True. It all makes sense now. You dropped so many hints, but it went over Paimon's head at the time. Why didn't you expose El Hingen right away, though? Why wait for things to escalate like they did? Going for the big reveal right at the beginning would have been an anti-climax of the most literal kind. I wanted to see how you'd react in a situation like this, and you did not disappoint. I thought that the story between you and the fungi would follow a master-servant paradigm, but you offered something even better. Companionship, based on mutual understanding. From a certain point of view, it seems fitting that El Hingen, the one person who could barely keep the word master from his lips, met his downfall at your hand. Of course, considering what he's capable of, I'm sure he'll have his ways of continuing to put up a fight. Uh, Paimon's getting confused again. In the future, we should take notes when Miko's talking and carefully look over them later. Oh, that's enough chatting for now. I'll leave Blitzara in your hands. Remember to take good care of it. I hope you really give this a good shot, you and Hania. The future of this highly entertaining tournament depends on the decisions you make from now on. I'm excited to see what you've got in store for us. Right on time. I've collected all the other contestants' wisdom orbs and found a suitable place for our fungi friends to live. I'll make absolutely sure the surrounding environment is not affected. Say hello to everyone, Kindlejoy. Mm. In the garden. That's Pyro One's new name. When I saw how well behaved it was when we first met, a sense of joy welled up inside me. If I just let go of my preconceived notions about fungi and allowed myself to truly feel that moment, maybe I could have felt like that all this time. I'm so glad Hania has finally worked things out. <laughs> yeah! Even though Paimon has gotten used to the name Pyro One at this point, the new name holds so much more significance! Where shall I just you? I will commit to giving these gentle creatures the highest standard of care I can provide. Please, rest assured that your fungi friends will be safe with me. I guess it's... time for us to say goodbye. Go on, Twirly Whirly. Be a good fungus now, and do everything that Hania says. But Zara, Miko will be back to visit when the next Beast Tamers tournament comes around. High five, Bongo Head! It was really fun having you around. Paimon hopes that you have a good time at Hania's, and is really looking forward to seeing you again next time. Do me again, as a promise. I hope that the day when humans and fungi can live in harmony will come quickly. I believe in you all. You'll make it happen. I look forward to the good news. Now we're done. Okay. Hmm. Gonna come in traverse or compete for Paimo. Should get her to an ace focus one go ahead from the winning combo. Okay, okay. This is important. Mm. 
know what I can get. I'm sorry. Mm. And I guess we're done with the event. Which is fine, isn't it? Yeah, I need to start farming those again. Alright. Uh, I, I think I... I didn't test her while she was available. Well, that kind of looks like a serious I don't know, I'll check what weapons would go well for her afterwards. Uh, I think I may still wait a few days before starting the, the revenge. We still got some time and just started. It's probably not completely unlocked so far, so I'll wait a little while. And I'll wait this one here. 